hey guys welcome back to let code um today we are going to learn about the download topic so we are going to learn two things one is like how to download files and another one is like how to save the downloaded file okay it's going to be very easy if you see the documentation is very self-explanatory um we have two types uh to handle this one way is basically using the wait for download function and another way is basically using the page dot on down on download uh, listener the uh, event handler okay so this is very simple i'm going to skip this this is similar to your page dot on dialog so it will give you the download uh preference and from there you can just use the uh, path or the functions that uh, we are going to discuss now okay and by the way you can find all the code in our github repository so link will be in the description and if you want to learn day by day probably you can just click on this branches and you can go to that particular branches if you go to the day 14 uh in day 14 we have discussed about the frame so you can go and see like only the frame the file will be there okay so yeah that's just handy thing um uh, yeah so we're going to use this let code website and here you can see like we have few file types so if i click on this download excel you can see like uh, it's basically suggesting us some file name like sample one lexus and if i click on this pdf of course the pdf file should be download yeah okay and then we have this like download text file so here i'm going to of course for the example i will just go with this one particular thing uh, but yeah you got the idea right so let's copy the url and here is also there so this is my elements let's go and inspect so here i can see so it's a, a tag of course it's an anchor tag so i can go with the uh, xpath link text as xpath or i can use the id or i can go with the link text as well so i'm just going to use the link text i'm going to do the click action and here you can see like we got the locator already with the snippet so let's go and write it one Okay, so first of all we have to say like page dot i mean i can paste it i already copied sorry yeah okay now once we do the uh, click action it's going to do the download right so for that we have to say like page dot um, wait for download and here we have to use the consumer and then uh, the lambda expression basically and here we are going to move this inside this so when i do the click action basically it's going to wait for the download okay and then it's going to return me the download uh preference so from there i can do few things for example if i go to the interface and if i give control o you can see like we have few functions one is cancel cancel is basically like if you if you are downloading a large file and you want to cancel it in the mid probably you can use this create read stream i never used so i'm not sure about it maybe you can read the documentation too delete of course self-explanatory if there's any failure it will tell us and then uh, the path is there path basically it will tell us like why the file is downloaded and save as is our second learning so if you are going to download the file and if you want to save it in your hard disk probably you can use this function and then we have url and suggested file name so let's go and see it now okay so first of all let's say that i want to see where my file is getting downloaded so i can say like download dot you uh, i mean path not page path that will return me the uh, path of the downloaded file okay so a little sleepy sorry okay so if i say like download dot url that will return me the file path in the from the server like I'm downloading this excel excel file right so where it's coming from the origin source it will return that one okay and then if i want to um say like failure um so it will return us any error if there is any failure okay or else it won't give us anything i guess so let's go and run this and let's see okay so here you can see like it's null because there is no failure and here you can see like this guy this is basically our um this path path of the downloaded file so when we download it's going to store in your local temp memory in your system 
and this is the actually this is the uh, file name so its name with extension won't be there just a file name okay and this is the url like uh, it's it's coming from the this particular site okay now this path basically returns us the file file path along with the file name but it's a, it is something like your uh, like hashing okay but i want to get the proper file name so for that i can say like uh, sys out and then followed by download dot suggested file name which should return as the file name along with the uh, file format for example if i go and inspect this here you can see like we have a attribute called download and then i have like sample.xls so that is the file name uh, from the server we are getting with the format so if i go and run this now Okay, so here you can select it giving it gives us the proper file name along with the extension and basically when we do download it will store in the temporary mem memory that means when the browser context is closed the file will be deleted so let's say that i want to store the downloaded file in my project okay so what can i do is i can simply say like um download dot save as and then here i can say like paths dot get and here i can use the download dot suggested file name that means like we already know that suggested file name is going to give me the file name along with the extension so i want to store that particular thing so i can just give it within the get function directly so it will just save it okay so let's go and run this now let's see Okay, so here you can see like if I go right click and refresh the project now, here you can see like we got the sample.xls. That means yeah, whatever we have downloaded, we are able to save that successfully. Now here one thing we have to remember is like we are using the playwright close, but it will get closed after the successful download of the file. So if the download file is getting interrupted, of course we can see that with the help of failure or if we are doing cancel that different but based on the file size let's say that we are going to download a movie for like 700 or 800 mb then it will wait until the download is completed then it will close the browser okay uh, that's it in java it's very simple in typescript or in javascript the playwright test runner we have configuration to uh, store the downloaded file in the reporter so playwright by default it has its own reporter within the reporter if you want to store your downloaded files we have option i'll just leave a link in the description or card somewhere you can go and check it out that as well okay so yeah that's it for my side if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply and as per the assignment you can do the same uh, you can download the pdf and the text file maybe you can just open the file and you can read the data as well if you want but that is not part of your playwright that is part of your apache poi definitely i won't cover that but yeah if you want you can do that okay so yeah tada bye bye take care